So one of the new features with Serpent's version 2.0 is the ability to give your add-on preferences. Alright guys, how's it going? Now this is a very quick tutorial and I'm going to show you how you can assign a preference menu to your add-on. Now first of all, I'm going to build a very basic add-on and I'll show you a new feature. So I'll press Shift and A, S the search and I'll add to a panel. I'll click this button here and it'll append it to the right hand side of the menu. Now, the next thing I need is a button, but what you can actually do is you can drag out the node, hold down shift, let it go, and it brings up the add compatibility list. Anything that's compatible with the panel, you can see here, for example, button, popover, etc. I'm going to click on a button, and it will automatically connect it to the node. Now, this is a brilliant feature that saves you a lot of time. Now, just as a quick example, I'm going to delete the default cube. I'm going to go to add, go to mesh, and over plane, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to copy the operator. And I'm actually going to paste this into the button. So essentially when I compile, I have a new button, it builds a plane for me. Perfect. Now let's say for example, I want to assign a preference so the user can actually rename something such as a label. So this can be changed to whatever the user would like. Now what I can do here is, I can press Shift and A, S to search, and I can go to the add-on preferences node. Now this pretty much works like any other node, you can build it in terms of your layout, you can add a split, you can add a row, you can pretty much build anything here. But what you will notice is we can now assign properties. So if I hit this plus sign, it will come up a new property, so let's call this my label. And we can edit the property here, so we can change this from a string to an integer to a boolean for example. And I'm just going to give it a quick description, change label. And we can also assign something like a default value, but we're fine for the moment. And what I can do here is, come to the arrow icon and I can click on it. And it'll give you a bunch of options. Getter, that'll get the property. So we're going to grab it first of all. And we're going to plug this into the label. And that means the user can set it. I'm going to come back. I'm going to grab the interface. And I'm going to put the interface to here. And we'll just call this change label. And we'll quickly compile it. Then we'll go into the preferences of the add-on. And you'll be able to see here that I have the change label preference. Now, if this does not show, what you might need to do is go into the Serpents add-on, enable show Python files, and then refresh this. Now, what I can do here is just put in something silly. So, let's put in my label. And you can now see the button has been renamed. And that's how you start to build preferences. It is a huge feature in Serpents version 2.0. I'm glad it's there. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care.